Okay, we kind of already did this, but um, we're going to use this to help us see something. Okay, here we go. What is uh, log base 10 of 1,000? Three. Yeah, three. And then this one? Two. And the next? Uno. Next? Zero. And then? Negative one. Negative one. Oh. Negative two. And then negative two. You guys see that? Does that make sense? Okay, hey. This says, formulate a rule based on the results above. Let's see. Um, I would like to highlight this. Okay. Now, this right here, um, a thousand, what would that be as an exponent? Like, how would you write a thousand with an exponent? It would be, you guys don't know? Yeah, come on, you know. Three. It would be 10 raised to, the third power. 10 raised to the third power gives me a thousand, right? Yeah. Oh. And this is 10 raised to the second power gives me a thousand, or a hundred. And then so on and so forth. 10 raised to the 1 power gives me 10. 10 raised to the negative 1 gives me 1 over 10. So actually, I could have taken uh, this right here and write, wrote 10 to the negative 1. I could have taken this out and wrote 10 to the negative 2. I could have taken this 1,000 out and wrote 10 to the 3rd. So people, what, what would this be? Log base 10 of 10 to the k, what would that equal? X. X, right? Not X. Okay. So, I have a question for you guys. If you were explaining this rule to a kindergartner, how would you tell them that you get a K? Now, kindergartner, you don't have to go that deep in the concept. Just very basic. I mean, would this be oversimplifying it? Because this log has a base 10, and because this guy has a base 10, you just cross these out, and you're left with the K. Oh. I got that. Well, you could tell them, like, if the bases are the same, you just cross them out. What if they don't know what bases? Uh, well, you point at it. I don't know. It, it's silly, but I'm just showing you guys. Oh, it's almost, it almost looks like that's what happens, right? Yeah. Okay.